Hey, good morning everyone, this is Mike. So today we're in Congari National Park. The first trail we're walking on is gonna be the Bates Ferry Trail, which brings us down to the Congari River for some good views. So the Bates Ferry Trail is actually outside of the main national park area. So what we're doing is we're doing this hike at the first thing this morning to get it done and then we're gonna go back to the main area and do some of the bigger hikes, hikes later on. Okay, so now we're at the second trail. This is the King Snake Trail. And although this trail actually starts from the visitor center, where most of the trails start, we're actually starting this trail from the outside and working our way back in. Because from what we heard from the park rangers is the grass is actually pretty tall at the beginning of this trail where the visitor center is. And there's a high chance or a high risk of snakes in that area. So we wanna avoid that area. Um, so we're doing the back side first so we can avoid that. So this trail is more secluded than the other ones, but this is pretty good if you want to get some good bird watching on because there are tons of birds around this forest. Uh, just like sitting still and listening to it, you can hear a lot of the different birds in the distance. Okay, so it started to rain out pretty bad, so we had to kind of cut that hike kind of short and run back to the car. But that's okay because now we're going to the visitor center and we'll probably just chill inside the visitor center until it stops raining, which hopefully should be in about an hour or two. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but it's pouring. Yep. Okay, so it's still raining out pretty bad, but luckily my wife brought these umbrellas with us and she's always well prepared. So we're actually going to continue hiking in the rain since it's going to rain until this mid-afternoon. And we wanted to get done quite a few hikes before the day was over, so we kind of have to continue hiking. So we're just going to continue hiking in the rain. Hey, it finally stopped raining. We've been hiking now for about an hour and a half, and we still have at least a couple more hours to go. And the rain should be on and off for the remainder of the time. Hopefully it stays off for the majority of the time. But I was able to capture a couple of clips while it was raining, which I'll show you now.
Hey, the sun's finally out, so I guess that means the rain's finally done, which is good because we still have about half of this hike left, which I think is close to four miles to go. So I'll uh, film the rest of the hike at the points of interest and then show that to you guys right now. So the one thing about this park that you need to know is that the mosquitoes are really bad. Excuse me. The mosquitoes are really bad. Even right now in the late winter, we're hiking, it's late March. The mosquitoes are pretty bad, not nearly as bad as they would be during the summer, but that means you have to keep on moving when you're hiking. You can't take any breaks or else you're gonna be eaten alive. Traversing this is horrible. Aww. Lori fell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we made it back to the car. Thank God. It was a really long hike. I think it was close to like eight miles. Um, but doing half of it in the rain and then the other half having traversed through the mud made for a pretty difficult hike. But uh, we made it back and I just wanted to say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Good night.